And like she, she never shuts her brain off, man. She's always like buzzing. She has a hard time falling asleep, you know, and, but she's always buzzing. And if I, you know, I ask her something, it's like I get this be a myriad of answers. And then, you know, me, it's like I can actually kind of shut my brain down, you know. And so there's times when Kathy and I will be like, you know, in the car driving, like, you know, we're going somewhere, you know, out to eat or maybe driving to a show. And, you know, and I'm just kind of shut down. I'm just kind of, you know, doing the drive. And all of a sudden something hits her and she just turns and goes, honey, what are you thinking? <laughs> and how many of you guys know the answer? <laughs> Shout it out to me. What are you thinking? Nothing. Nothing. You think we're lying. We're not, I swear we're not lying. We can actually think of nothing. It's God's gift. It's called testosterone poisoning. Did you know that the chemical wash of testosterone actually kills some brain cells? It's true. And I was like, she, what do you think? About, oh God, you scared me. I forgot you were in the car. Oh my gosh. God, don't do, wave your hand or something. <laughs> Golly. Oh. But we've been married for 31, uh, October the 14th will be our 31st wedding anniversary, and it's really kind of fun. Yeah, and we, I, I, I yeah, thank you. She's right up there. She's right there. Um, we, I like that we're different. You know, in our culture now, I don't know what's going on, but everybody's trying to homogenize us into thinking the same way and being the same way and having the same thought. And that's boring. Look, I, I know that there's conflict when we disagree, but it's also kind of fun, man. You know, that, you know it, I mean, really, because you, you want some difference in your life, you know? And the fact that we are different is wonderful. And I think that the biggest thing when it comes to marriage, I think the biggest defining point is when it comes to being intimate. Like men, we have a thing for intimate, which is chicka chicka bow wow, right? <laughs> and women, it's conversation. <laughs> Let's talk. And then what? <laughs> right? And so I do a lot of premarital counseling. I started working with couples and everything, and they would come in stupid, absolutely stupid, because they were in love. And they would say things like, oh, see, we're so in love. We have everything in common. We're just alike. We like the same things. We finish each other's sentences. We're just alike. <laughs> well, then one of you is unnecessary. <laughs> it's kind of like borderline their uh, narcissist of marrying yourself, right? <laughs> Because these, these young couples, they have no idea what they're in for. Because that's not love. That's infatuation. And so what I try to tell them is, go, look, can I help you understand what a real love, being loving someone unconditionally, what it really looks like? Can I, can I share an example? And they're like, oh, please do. And I go, okay, do either one of you know what a colonoscopy is? <laughs> we don't even like the sound of that. Well, it's going to get a little worse. <laughs> You see, when one or both of you turns 40, you're gonna to have to have a medical procedure where the night before you're gonna drink this stuff and you will never wanna poop again. <laughs> then you're gonna show up bright and early at the hospital and they're gonna take a high powered air canister and they're gonna go in your back door <laughs> and they're gonna fill you so full of air you're gonna think you're a Macy's Thanksgiving Day Parade balloon. <laughs> And then they're going to take a fiber optic cable with a camera on it and a light on the end, and they're going to go looking for things. But the cool thing is, is that you're going to be sound asleep the whole time. Here's where love comes in. When it's time for the air to come out, you got to be wide awake. And the other one has to sit there and pat the other one on the hand and go, it's okay, honey, just let it out, just let it out, just let it out, just let it out. That's love. That's commitment to sit there and deal with that because my wife never tooted before we were married. <laughs> Whole time we were dating, never tooted. And then I thought she was incapable. And then after we got married, she had this dog and that dog had the worst gas on the planet. <laughs> I'm really, it was all, the dog was sickening, you know? And then the dog died and I was like, man, there's something wrong with the carpet. <laughs> it's you. But the thing we fought about more than anything initially was intimacy. Because, you know, guys, we're not real subtle about it. We're kind of like, won't do it. 
<laughs> wow, take me, cowboy. You know, I mean, yeah. Right? Women want to be romance. They want to be, you know, talked to. They want to be wooed. They want to be, you know, just bring them into the moment, you know? And so I didn't know any of this. And so we had been married a couple of months and I got a little handsy with her, you know, and she slapped my hand away. <laughs> I said, come on, honey, we're married. And she said, well, if you want to make love to me in the bedroom, you need to start by making love to me in the kitchen. <laughs> now, every woman knows what she meant. And every guy is like me going, well, take your clothes off in the kitchen. <laughs> I had not thought about doing it in the kitchen. But I'm all for it. Right? You want to be romanced in the kitchen. Right? And it's so weird because, like, you know, it's totally different, too. Like, I, I, I was working with this one couple one time, and, and she came in, and she was so upset. And she's like, oh, Steve, I married, a, I, I, I married a sex fiend. And I said, really? And I'm like, dude, are you looking at stuff? No, no, I promise. I'm not. I go, well, what's the problem, sweetheart? She goes, he wants to have sex with me all the time. In every room. All the time. What's wrong with him? Nothing. <laughs> Sweetheart, this boy saved himself for marriage. He's been waiting for this for a long time. <laughs> you need to buckle your chin strap, sweetheart, and hold on. <laughs> right? Because you weren't told this. Ladies, I feel so sorry for you. You probably weren't told. If you grew up in a church, you weren't told that, you know, they're in the mood all the time, right? <laughs> like, why, why, why is he in the mood? Because you're in the room with him. <laughs> Like, if he sees you walk by, he thinks you're coming on to him. <laughs> if you're getting ready to go somewhere, do not come out half-dressed. He thinks it's like, hey, yay, yeah, yeah. <laughs> If you walk by in a towel, you better run for your life. <laughs> and if he sees you naked, <laughs> it's game on, girlfriend. <laughs> but if you see, and you don't think that way because you don't want to see him that way. Right? You have, there's nothing attractive about him being naked. He's like, hey, baby. You're like, oh, stop, honey. Don't dance. Don't. Stop hopping. Stop hopping. Oh, my gosh. I threw up in my mouth a little bit. I'm so... Oh, uh, stop. So we had this nonverbal thing that we, we like to do. You know, it's like, it's like we have these two candles on our nightstands. And when one of us is in the mood, we light our candle. And then when the other one lights their candle, it's like... <laughs> Right? So typically, I, I light my candle first. <laughs> now, that's not fair. I always light my candle first. <laughs> yeah, and I'll walk past the bedroom to see if, you know, Kathy's candle's lit. And if it's not lit, I just assume that, you know, she hasn't been in there, you know, so I'll... <laughs> Genius, right? So I'll send her on little errands to, you know, little romantic errands into the bedroom. Like, honey, where are my toenail clippers? And I'll be honest with you, gang, <laughs> it's kind of a cute thing to do, but <laughs> there have been times when I've walked into our bedroom and my candle's been blown out. <laughs> See, guys, you have to learn to do it. Like, Kathy, one time, Kathy said, you know, sorry, man, I'm sorry. I don't know why that's so funny to me. Anyway. Um, <laughs> She said, you know, if you, if you want to have, you know, relations, you know, she goes, you've got you've to touch me non-sexually. <laughs> I'm like, you can do that? <laughs> I'll try. <laughs> this is working for me, baby. Light your candle. Light your candle. <laughs> Hey, did you know that Dry Bar Comedy has their own app? You should download it right now so you can watch my whole comedy special.